So, you're getting married. Yes, it's it's to the father. The baby's father. He's come home. It's it's absolutely unexpected. He's from Vietnam. He's uh, he's come home. He didn't come home? Yeah. He's all right, isn't he, Jenny? He didn't go crazy or anything like that. Oh no. He uh he got wounded in the shoulder. Uh, so so they gave him a medical discharge. He's crippled. She's gonna marry a cripple. Oh no, he's he just got wounded a, a little bit. And he's perfectly all right. Jenny, nobody gets wounded just a little. <laughs> Drunk. Oh. What's the matter? <laughs> I think the baby's drunk. I felt it move and it moved like it was drunk. Poor old thing. Could a baby inside get drunk? I don't know. <laughs> Could I touch it, Jenny? Sure. Just give me your hand. Can you feel? Yeah, I think so. No, but... Oh, yeah. There, you see. There. That's beautiful. Dale, you can actually feel it. You know, I almost had a baby once. You can have a baby. But I got rid of it. Okay, I'm sorry. No, but... You know, I really admire you for going through with it. At the beginning, I guess I just thought it go away. Oh, I know. I know it's none of my business, but... How did you get caught? I don't know. I guess I never really had the nerve to take the pill. Nerve? Yeah. I mean, you get up every morning and you take a pill. Suppose you took a pill every morning and nobody asked. Sake. You know, Jenny, I really like you. And if I can be of any help, you know, anyhow, I just want to be your friend. Okay? You know? I think this is a completely unique situation. But we have no idea. I, I know that you don't necessarily love me. I mean, it's part of our agreement, and I'm, I'm perfectly content with the arrangement as it now stands. So I don't want you to get me wrong. Before I met her. Way before. I'm glad. 
I think you're really going to like my father. He's kind of eccentric. Oh, no, not really. He's, he's a perfectionist. That's more what he is. He makes teeth. He does what? He makes teeth. You know, bridges, caps, molars. It's kind of an art that's dying out. Father makes teeth? Mm -hmm. He's very good at it. He's about the best tooth maker in New England. Sorry. Uh, come in. Come in. Are you? No, oh, honey, I can't help it. <laughs> uh, I put your bags in dress room. Yes, fine. Thank you. He's away now. Yes. In the Navy. And oh, there are clean sheets on your bed and your own towel. And if you need a extra blanket or even another pillow. Don't be afraid to just shout right out. Thank you. <laughs> Speak right up. Everybody in this house does. How is it out there? What, sir? I mean, is it uh, really as rough as they say it is? Um, it's so-so. Well, you know, you never know from reading the papers. Durf joined up the Naval Reserve while he was still in high school. Durf, our boy, Durf. He's in the Pacific now. You know. Yes, yes. That's Durf. We've given you his room. He's in the Pacific now. Remember how I got when I was carrying Jenny? Like a balloon. <laughs> mm, blown right out. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen it. <laughs> Delano. Is that an Italian name? No, no, no. That's, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I was named after Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh, Ooh. for heaven. Well. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I was for Wilkie. Been a Republican all my life. Roosevelt got us into the war. If it wasn't for Roosevelt, Germany and the Allies would have marched right through Red Russia. Crushed communism once and for all. Mr. Marsh loved his politics. <laughs> and uh, you wouldn't be fighting out there in Vietnam. <laughs> and Durf would be home now. <clears throat> Excuse me. 